Okay, here's a uh, project that I'm starting today. I went out to my saw and I cut down. These are probably two by twos or something like that. And I cut three of them and I so they would stack. Now I'm gonna take you to my Cameo software and show you how I'm putting this together. And then after that, I'm probably gonna work on getting this finished up. So that'll be the two projects that I'm gonna to do today. All right, to start with, I'm going to do each block. So I'll go over here to my rectangle and put a box in there. Go back over here and click that little arrow so it doesn't try to make another one. Now I'm going to size this. I want it 3.75 long and high, I want it. 1.75 okay that's the size of that block and I'm gonna put this chicken in there so I've got to resize the chicken okay I kinda want I, I want that centered so I'm gonna hold down I have the chicken highlighted I'm gonna hold down my shift key and the box select the box also and go over here to my transform panel and I'm going to click the center one and I'm going to have it centered okay that one is finished then I'm going to make another box and I'm going to make it well I know to start with it's going to be the 1.75 high and then the length of it is going to be, let me see, the length of that one's going to be five inches. So the width, or not the width of it, five point inner. And that size that. And I had already, I've already went over into my fonts and typed out kitchen. And this is the font I liked. So I'm going to fit that up in there. Kind of stretch it out just a little bit. Probably need to make it just a little smaller. Not much. Alright. I like that. So I'm going to select the kitchen and the box that's around it. It just makes it easier with the box around it when it cuts. And I you know to put it on the the block to have the correct size and I'm going to center it okay now I'm going to do the one for country I'll make another block well I did the square I didn't want to hold down my shift key all right and I'm going to make it how wide is it it is going to be got to get my block six point seven five wide and then my height is the one point seven five all three of those are the same now I'm going to put my country in there and resize it Wait, I think I have those just the opposite. Yes, I did. That is supposed to be down here. Okay, that's going to be okay. I'm going to hit that. Hold my shift key, select my box. And I'm going to center it. And I'm going to bring my country into this one. Select my box too and center it. Now I'm going to go off from it and see if I like the way it looks. It's 
about the best it can be because that Y is coming down. Let's see if I stretch that out a little bit if that looks funny. I don't think that looks too bad. Okay, so like that and the box and I'm going to center it. Okay, I'm going to group those two so I can move them around. Group this so I can move it around. Group that. Okay, because I'm going to try to save on my vinyl. Now, cut me off a piece of vinyl about five inches long and put it on my mat and I'm going to send it to my Cameo and cut these out and while that's cutting the stuff, I'm going to take the blocks and paint them I'm not sure. <laughs> Top one will probably be kind of a cream color. Well, I'll be back. I'll show you what I decide. I'm going to go ahead and cut these out. All right, here's how it turned out. The only thing I think I might do is maybe run a little sandpaper over the lettering and the chicken, kind of distress it in, kind of blend it in with the wood so it looks a little older. And call it good for that. I think it turned out cute. So I'm going to go back in there and start on something else. So keep watching. Okay, I'm going to start on this drawer now and uh, probably won't show a lot of it. I'm going to put the Waverly plaster color on it and it'll probably take two or three coats. I have another knob that I'm going to put on it. This is a very, it was a little silver chrome looking knob on it very modern and when i get done with it it'll look uh like a farmhouse item you know anyways i'm gonna link below the one that i done before that i have in my living room but the only difference is the one in the living room all i did was cut this down because it was up as high as this right here and I cut that one down, but I left it long. But I decided to cut the whole box off on this one. But I did leave a link down below on the process I used to do that one. So if you want, if you're interested, you can go check it out. But I'm gonna go ahead and start with this and I'll come back when it's finished and show you. Or I might come back in between steps. I don't know, but just keep watching. All right, here is the drawer finished. I just went and got a knob. I had uh, one more of these knobs left that we had taken off some old drawers and put some greenery in it. And I'll show you my other one I have when I'm talking about the depth. Let me set it up here. Okay, here's the one that I made before. Now this, I got both of these drawers at a thrift store. So I made this for me and I had that sitting in my craft room for a long time and I needed to get, get it out. So I finished it, but see this one's a lot deeper. The other one's cut off to about right here. Anyways, that's how that one turned out. Now on to my next project. Okay, this is my next project. I have this old piece of wood that's been in my craft room sitting around. I need to do some things and get them out. And since I have a place to take it to sell, just like that old drawer or that drawer that I worked on, I'm going to get rid of this and get it out of the craft room too. So I'm going to put this stencil down on here. And as you can see, it's not long enough. So I'll just pull the paper down and I'll trace it out and then I'll take it out in the garage and cut it out with my jigsaw. Okay, I have it traced out where I'm gonna cut it out with my jigsaw. There's the top and then I just pull the paper to the bottom and 
done the curve on that. Now to take it to the garage and cut it. I took it out and cut it off, or cut it all out, sanded the edges, sanded the board itself down so it wouldn't be splintery. And I have a piece I need to, see if I can get to it, I need to repair right in here. I'm gonna stick some glue, some wood glue under that, and then put a clamp on it. And I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I'm gonna somehow decorate the front or, I don't know yet. So that's to be seen, but there it is, all cut out. Now to sit here and look at it and figure out what I'm going to do. That's how I do things. Okay, here's where I put it. This is actually really a trash to treasure because I love the way it turned out and I hung out here on my counter, the end of the counter, and it was an old board that my husband was going to throw out, and I cabbaged onto it and made something that I like. I just took some lavender, a stem of lavender. I think I got that from Walmart. And wrapped the very tip of it, and then tied, the, tied it on with some jute. Okay, I wanted to show you this quick, easy, little uh, Easter spring pro uh, wood project that I'm doing. I started out with a two by four, and I just cut it five inches tall. Then I, and I, then I took it and I put antique wax on it and stained it. You can use any kind of stain you want, watered down paint, brown paint, whatever, whatever you want. Then it just had a stained block. Then in, from there, I went into my Cameo Studio software and uh, found a pattern on there that I had. And I had bought it from the designer store. And it's called Bunny Tail. And I cut out, I made, you know, I sized it to the size I need. And I cut it out on my Cameo and made a stencil. And this is my stencil. And then... I put the way I used the Waverly plaster color, and this is what it looks like. And for the tail, I just kind of twisted some burlap on this one, and then I made one with just some like muslin or something. Just twist, turn it, and glue. And I cannot show it on camera because it's tedious because you have to. Get your glue gun down there real fast, and then you twist a little more, and my fingers would just be in the way, and it wouldn't do any good. But I just take my, just a thin piece here, and just twist it and turn. Like I said, you can see it coming untwisted because I'm not gluing it. But anyways, that's the gist of it. And you end up with this. You can use a button, you could use a pom-pom, you could use, I know at Hobby Lobby they have little burlap flowers, little ones that you could use, or any other kind of little flower, whatever you want, and it turns out to be a really cute little craft.